Good morning, folks. We're going to do a high-level breakdown of everything space weather related right now. Then we'll see a couple noteworthy news items, the volcano in Iceland, and a major study on solar forcing of weather. We took another M-class solar flare earlier this morning. We've got an incoming coronal hole on the south, and we'll review the CME released yesterday morning as well. But the last 24 hours on our star was relatively quiet in terms of new eruptive activity that could impact the Earth. Let's start with the solar flare. It was an impulsive event off the northern departing active region, no CME and aimed away from Earth anyway. There's a small update on the filament release that was featured in both the morning and afternoon shows yesterday. If you'll recall, the majority of bulk plasma is heading southward, but the broader expanse of the upper coronal plasma release has a good chance to deliver a glancing blow to the Earth. Both endal spirals were shown in the afternoon show yesterday, with an impact late on the 20th or early on the 21st, but NOAA has altered their forecast for a slightly later impact, now due on the 22nd. It's likely an over-exaggeration in the alteration, and it's hard to see this one taking that long to arrive. I would still forecast the 20th or the 21st. We also have an update on the incoming sunspots, which are actually now joined by considerable development of spots out ahead of them, but the new ones on the left side are the biggest and have the best chances for flaring over the coming days. Lastly, in space weather, this coronal hole will be facing Earth in another day or two, kicking off the earthquake watch, and will have its solar wind arrive towards the end of the week. If you haven't seen the footage of the latest volcano eruption in Iceland, it's all over the internet and it is spreading lava in pretty much all directions from the eruptive zone, biggest one of the current sequence so far. Last but not least today, we've been discussing this a lot lately, both the rapid electrical forcing of the lower atmosphere and weather by solar activity, and how the ongoing magnetic pole shift is amplifying those effects, all worked through the global electric circuit. Today, we see an outstanding analysis that shows major changes in near-ground conditions relevant to convection, storms, and temperatures caused by the solar storm activity, all centered around the rapid changes in the atmospheric electric field forced by the space weather electromagnetic influence. Double clap there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.